the Honorable Grotus has need of us, then we arrive without delay. Oh. Sorry. Wrong control. Okay, cool. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll make her Miss Fowl. <laughs> Pray tell. Did the princess tell you where the map is? Ra? Still your tongue, Belden. We would already have it if you'd snatch her earlier. But since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many! Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth that we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do is find Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the x naught plan. I will have my men prepare all the uh, available information on this mark. For now, hear me, Bedlam. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. Me he he he, fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall seek with shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We're, uh, uh, we got a job to do. Gah. <laughs> That's a computer, I think. That's a security system. <laughs> oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again for like the 30th time in existence. Mario and Toads Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again! But hang on a moment. Again? Where in the world am I? Anyway, again. Because you know... Whatever. Whatever, Peach. Okay, I think I can go here. Nope, it's not open. Can I open stuff? No, I can't. That's fine. Alrighty then. Nothing. Nothing for me here. There, okay. Door open now. Hmm? What was that? Hey, that's odd. The doors open by themselves. It must be like... I mean, there are technically logically advanced, are they? Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Yeah, don't have any guards by the princess. Oh yeah, because there's an elevator right here. And they have guards on the elevators, I assume. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Indeed. Huh. It's dark in here. I think I know what to do for this voice. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm sorry. Yeah, like that. Kind of like that. How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be the, a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait. He's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My high brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, I am very hot and bothered in your presence. And an unidentified sped through my processes. The events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose, diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me to know more about me? Yes, I must draw you like one of my French girls. Could it be that you... No, impossible, it can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything I do not understand. Please, you've got to help me. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible, Will, that you're... In love? With me? 
Love? What is this? Love. I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love? How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with that person forever. It makes you feel happy to see that person smiling and having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for these words, but... My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am the perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love is something you... you love something... Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Dot, 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 dot. Princess Peach, would you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would I care? Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There is nothing I cannot compute, comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please, you've got to help me. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant you a wish such as letting you escape. What are you insane? You ex jerks kidnapped me like common goofus. And now you call me in here to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You grant my wishes? <laughs> Why should I believe you? I understand that you are angry. That emotion I can comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you will consider teaching me, I will grant you your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communication to send wireless mail anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It's no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient, address, and the message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, Tech. It's ready. Did you send it? Okay. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you again when I want to ask you something. How does goo float? Uh, okay then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. This took a long time for no reason. Yeah, sure. I think Bowser's gonna be up. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of nothing going on. Oh, yeah, this is a lot of nothing going on. I'm just gonna run through this. Here comes the king. He's huge. <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? He's not even here. I didn't see her in the hallway. Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy Koopa. That's gross. <laughs> he will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Okay, this this guy looks like he's struggling. Hey, I got fire style. Oh, uh, can I can't jump? Huh? This Cammy. Ah, Lord Bowser. Yeah, I'll make her Miss Fowl too. A lot of these old people, old women, Miss Fowl is the easiest to. Eh, eh. I just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Cammy Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report you that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure Yes, Mario has gone in search of a star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. 
Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Um, well, I like fried eggs, yeah. Do I... I love fried eggs, love them, but that's a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped at a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking every there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic? You moron! There's no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Urgh! Oh, dear Lord Bowser, please, calm down, remember your uh, uh, blood pressure! Hmm, watch that. Whisper, whisper, whisper. What? Is this true? Yeah. Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool adopted Princess Peach and Roadboard. What? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who would do such a thing besides me? I mean, there's that guy from the Super Mario Land and, uh... Uh, I think that's about it. Well, yeah, actually, there is a couple people. Yeah. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I gotta kidnap her back. Get out the way. Get out the way. The aircraft is cool looking. Hey, look, it kind of smashed like paper. <laughs> but your grunkiness, wait up. She was a lot faster in the first paper mine. <sighs> Nose drops. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to leave this place, at least. Koops, my lad! Are you telling me you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koopa. That's my boy. But always remember this. You're my son, Koops. And I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. <clears throat> May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. <clears throat> okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going? Home. Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When it is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal stars with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back at the Thousand Year Door... So, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on the magical map? Exactly. Come on, let's go. And she went in my pocket. That's... that's Alright. Okay, well... I need a couple things. One thing that... Just get a couple of these. Let me get a leaf. Let me get a leaf. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a couple of these things definitely. I barely have like a minute. So what I'll do is I'll save on this part a little early, and then we can move on again. Stay tuned for the next part, guys. Catch you later.